Constance, today we're taking a closer look at the problem of bullying, and not just in our schools. Our guest today is an author who experienced being shunned not only by her schoolmates, but also by her in laws, even her family. Her name is Gabriella Van Ray. She joins us live right now. We're so glad you're here with us. This is so topical. We just had that movie, Bully, come out. Yeah. And I think people who maybe haven't experienced it or don't have children going through it don't necessarily understand bullying and all that it encompasses. So, could you kind of tell us about that? Bullying is an extreme form of meanness, uh, mm -hmm. what I think, and the individual gets so isolated and picked upon actually for their uniqueness, which most children, of course, don't understand. Mm -hmm. But because you get isolated, I think the, uh, the norm today is that it's day after day, it continues into cyberbullying, and then it becomes even worse because it's 24 hours a day. And that child cannot live a normal life anymore. I know you would think with our melting pot in this world that we're all so different, but social media has really kind of taken this. It's good and bad. It's, it's made us aware of the bullying, but it's also taking bullying to a new level. But when you grew up, completely different story. You, it wasn't necessarily a school thing. It, it was, but I mean, it started much before that, didn't it? It taught me, first of all, that people are really cruel mm -hmm. and that anything out of the norm is just not accepted. Mm -hmm. So y you as a child have to find a way in. Same for the bullies today, the victims of bully today. And Gabriella, I know in, in your book, uh, With All My Might, you experienced kind of a situation as soon as you were adopted and then later when you got married. And can you explain to us that? Because some people wouldn't think of bullying as, as that much of a spectrum. But you have so many forms of bullying. Mm -hmm. So the bullying that I experienced within my marriage is that they wanted to keep me hidden because it was easier for them not to explain than to have to explain to the masses what they were doing with someone. And while you talk, like. we do have, we just have an idea of what uh, bullying is from Bully the Movie, which is just touching and amazing what this little boy went through. But you're saying at three years old, even, even younger, that's when you kind of really started understanding what human beings were capable of. Totally. But look at this Alex here in the movie, the little boy in the boss. Uh -huh. Nobody seems to relate to him. And so everyone seems to be in denial about it. Mm -hmm. But the little boy gets totally isolated and he doesn't know where he fits in anymore and I think there's no active witness. So what do we do with what you experienced in such a young age and what he experienced in that documentary movie? What do, what do kids do? What do parents do? How do we put an end to this? Okay, first thing is awareness. The movie is fantastic already. Mm -hmm. I mean, they've done a really good job, but there's so many forms of bullying that we need to do more. So for me, it's three things. It's the victim, the bully, and the bystander, which includes educators, mm -hmm. it includes the parents, and includes friends. They need to step up. Step up. Mm -hmm. And to do that, they need to lose their fear. And they need to lose their fear of not only themselves, but of the peer pressure. Right. Because if they stood up for Alex, then the big problem is, where do they fit in? But I think that's where we need to start educating. And I'm working together with the bullyacademy.org. Uh -huh. Have you heard of it? Yes. Yes. And uh, I got the opportunity to speak in a Phoenix school. I think the school is called Atadina. Uh -huh. And uh, I think when we have People companies like this making together. software together with schools, we'll get it. Okay. All right. Well, the book is called With All My Might, and it's a, just a wonderful read of your history and your story. And we're really hoping that everybody starts to show more of a humanity and beat this bullying problem. And thank you for taking a step you. with your book. So, uh, Gabriella Van Ray here with us today. And now we'll send it back over to Constance. All right. Thank you.